Okay, I've been getting a lot of questions about these columns. All right, everybody wants to know how to dress them up and box around them, frame around them. Um, a lot of times I'll be boxing all four sides with drywall from floor to ceiling or from soffit to floor, whatever you got going on. Uh, we got a soffit here on this one. Uh, you can see I've got a, a 42 inch tall half wall here because the homeowner wants to uh, make a countertop here and uh, be able to see his TV from the bar area that the cameraman uh, told the camera standing in, it's the bar area behind him. Um, so what we're going to do, on this side of the pole, we're going to fasten our uh, 42 inch wall. This is a 2 by 6 wall. On the other side of the column, on this side over here, we still have steel the whole way up and down. Uh, I pre-cut a 2 by 6 here when I was off camera. And what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to put this 2x6 up this side of the column. Alright, just like that. And we're going to shoot through this 2x6 into the steel with our ram set gun. Alright, that's going to dress up this side of the pole from the floor all the way up to the soffit. And over on this side, we still have some steel exposed right here. I'm going to cut another piece of 2x6 to match the uh, to match the thickness of the 2x6 wall, since this was a 2x6 half wall, this had to be a 2x6 over here. We're going to measure one more piece of wood here, right off the top of the half wall, right up there underneath that soffit. And it looks like about 48 inches. Let me go ahead and cut that. This will be my finishing piece here. This will go right up under here like this. All right, we'll make sure that this is nice and straight up and down. You want to make sure, I show you in another video how I do the half wall, so I'm not going to get into how I fasten this half wall. It's in the framing videos that are in the, uh, in the series now. But uh, to recap on that, I, I had to make sure that my half wall was, was nice and level, the bubble between the lines. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece of lumber here. I'm going to get my level on there. And actually, it looks pretty good right where it's sitting. You want to make sure that you're plumb, straight up and down, plumb. All right? And you want your half wall, you want to put your, your, your level on the side of the half wall and make sure that these two pieces of wood are coming right off of your half wall so everything is nice and straight across. Okay? Just like that. Want to make sure that this side over here, straight up and down, get your level on there. Make sure it's nice and level. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ram set and grab that. Alright, this is the same gun, the same ram set that I used to fasten all my walls to the concrete floor. We're using uh, two, two and a half inch pins. And the yellow shot, which is the yellow is the most explosive, it's the highest load. Alright, our ram set gun. Load our pin in. First, put our, put our load in. It's just like loading a 22 caliber gun. Alright, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that my, uh, my wall is perfectly level with the other wall. Got it. That's how many you're putting there. Make sure we're plumb up and down. Now I'm going to take the gun. I'm going to fire right through this piece of two by six, right into that piece of steel. You can also put up. Definitely want to. Like I said, definitely you want to wear your eye protection when you're shooting this stuff. Back, put this lower three right here. Press the gun up against the, one, the pole. Two, three, four, perfectly five, straight in. And pull the trigger. And then maybe right now you can see the nail didn't go the whole way in, but that's okay. It's sticking inside that steel right now, and it's not going anywhere. A lot of times you can pound these in. And if you can't pound them in, you just bend them over. I'm going to try to pound that in there. You can see that nail went right into the steel now. 
right through a solid piece of steel. It drove that two and a half inch nail. All right, so we're gonna do that in two more places on this tall one here. I'm gonna put three down that side. We're still on here with the half wall. Sure, it looks pretty good. You're gonna put, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna put six of these. Go ahead and put one in the bottom. You got seven, four, five, six. You already got seven on it. I'm back there. I don't want to leave, maybe. And I'll put one more in at the top. this one. Now this is going to get wrapped in drywall, all four sides. We're just gonna. When it comes drywall time, we're just gonna drywall this. Stuff. Right. That's, like that's fastened on there and it's ready for uh, ready for drywall now. I'm going to do that again to this little piece on the other side and that'll do it. So I've been getting a lot of questions over at the Basement Finishing University and the community area and the forum. People asking, Ed, what do you do about the columns? And I never really showed you. So this one over here. I wanted to make sure that I captured this on this new basement that I'm doing here in uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania here today. I knew I was going to have one column to wrap. So uh, there you go. I hope that answered your question on wrapping columns. And good luck with your basement framing.